Hey y'all, how you doing? I'm oh, Bob Swift. Me? I'm just peachy, peachy, peachy. At least I'm trying to be. Thank you guys for coming on my channel, supporting my uh, channel. I appreciate it so much. Guys, I got some rice and rotisserie chicken. Yes, rice and rotisserie chicken. I decided to uh, add some eggs and uh, onions into my uh, rice. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Get this in. Heavenly Father, I ask that you bless this food. I'm about to put it in my body and nourish it in Jesus' name. Amen. Share my video. Share, share, share my video. Yeah, I added some um, onions and eggs in here. In this uh this rice. This is roasted chicken rice. Mmm. That's for you. Mm. I tell you what, I got some of that that juice all up in there. Mmm. -hmm. I'm gonna have chicken juice.
Mm-hmm. Share my video. Share my video. Let's eat with D Block. Share it to social media, you guys. Appreciate it. Bring in some family. Share my video. Mmm. Gotta love that rotisserie chicken. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Excuse me. That was pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Uh, that was quick and fast, wasn't it? I know it. Every now and then you get those quick and fast videos. Especially when you're hungry. Because you know what? You ain't got too much to say at that point. What you're trying to do is get that food in. Mm-hmm. So how y'all been doing? Hush your mouth. Baby cake, touch your mouth. You hush your mouth. Let me tell you something. I was watching this, um, <laughs> this, um, Crime story. Mm-hmm. I tell you what. You had this husband and wife stand together. They had about three kids. Three kids. Excuse me. So excuse me. Lord have mercy. They had three kids, and the husband, he was a pretty cool guy in the neighborhood. He did any and everything for um, friends and family, and um, apparently what he thought to be his wife's brother, he moved him in the house. He got him a job so he can... Uh, he got his brother-in-law a job so he can um, apparently um, buy him the things that he need in life to help him through his day-to-day. -day. And um, so one day, the husband came, was on his way home. And 
I want to say his wife called the police because she heard like uh, they heard like a gunshot, and um, she was in the back room, and her supposedly brother was in the living room watching TV, I believe. She went up and told her brother, hey, did you hear that? Did you hear that uh, gunshot? He said, no, what gunshot? She said, it was a gunshot. I heard a gunshot. Now she in the back room. She in the back room. Brother in the living room. But it was coming from the front, the gunshot. Well, I tell you what. The brother looked out the door and it was his brother-in-law, the wife's husband. Shot in the head. Oh my God. I'm trying to tell the story and look at him. So, what was that? The brother-in-law, he looked, uh, he went out the door, and the brother went out the door, the brother-in-law was shot. Was shot, I want to say in his head, and then his chest, twice. No one was around. What the brother did, uh, the sister called the police, the brother ran out to the brother-in-law vehicle. He got up under the bottom of it. Whatever it was, he took from up under the bottom of it and then ran back into the house. Instead of him trying to help the brother-in-law, he ran out to the brother-in-law vehicle and got whatever it was that he needed to get off of there before the police arrived. That right there is a red flag in itself. So you just let this body lay here. Whatever, whatever was going on was more important to get off of that gentleman's car than for you to be right there with him until the police come. Okay. So, uh, they took the wife and the brother down to question him on some things. Um, uh, they didn't know what would happen and what have you. So apparently, you know, they were suspects. They didn't think they were suspects, but they were suspects. So the police officer, they confiscated the, uh, they asked him a question because this guy next door he uh, told the police officers that he had some information that they may need like that to help solve that case. And the police officer uh, told him to come on down to the station. He came down to the station and he told them that um, there was a gentleman on the inside of that house that ran out. He said he didn't see who shot that man. He said, but what I did see is a gentleman run from out of that house into the um, into the victim's car and he got up under the bottom of the victim's car and took some from up under that victim's car and ran back into the house yeah this sounds suspect it really does so the police they called him back down to the house they called him back down to the police station and they um, told him they wanted to speak with him 
some more. So they asked him, they said, uh, what happened with you uh, going out to the victim's vehicle and taking some off his vehicle under the bottom of it? What was that about? He started laughing. He was like, <laughs> well, um, he had a tracking device on his car. He said he had, police said he had a tracking device. He said, yeah, and I just thought I'd just take it off like that. They said, well, why would you take it off when you should have been there with him instead of running out to the car to take off the tracker? So they asked him for the tracker. He deleted. He said, well, what, what, what was being tracked? What was they, what was they tracking like that? He said, "Well, you know, if it, 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 he just had a track on there, so they asked, uh, did he have that tracker?' They told him he they wanted to get that tracker. He said, "Well, yeah, I got it right here." They said, "Well, uh, can we look at your phone?' Because they maybe thought he was tracking it through his phone. He said, "Sure, like that." He allowed him to look through his phone. They found out on the track with the tracker that everything was erased off that tracker. So um, the uh, sister, uh, not the sister, the wife, uh, they put her in the room and they tried to tell her that he told off on her like that. But then uh, they come to find out they was trying to twist their words up while they was interrogating them. And they told, they said to the lady, do you know why he was, uh, why you was having him to track your husband? He never said that he was tracking her husband. They, they brought that out. She said, no. Uh, what are you talking about? And they said, well, uh, what are you, what is your relations to, they was talking about her brother. What is your relation to him? She said, um, that's my brother. They said, that's your brother. You guys are not dating or anything? She said, no. Police was on to something. When I tell you they was on to something, they were on to something. They said, well, he, um, he said something a little different. And she said, well, I don't know what he could possibly be talking about or saying. No, he's my brother. He said, okay. He asked her, did they have any other uh, phones or devices at home and what have you? Uh, they asked her, can we search your house? Now, when they asked her, can we search your house? Even if she had said no, they were going to search it because they had a search warrant to search the house. Because they were like suspects. She was like, well... Yeah, I don't have no problem with you guys searching my house like that. They said, okay, wait here for a minute. She, I guess she thinking she was going home. She wasn't going home. They are going to search the house before they got home. And um, while they were headed to the house to do the search, the victims, uh, the wife called the victim's sister and told her, can you go in the house and... Uh, and get those uh, phones. Uh, it was some cell phones that was in the, in her room. The victim's sister called the police and told them that uh, she told me to uh, get some phone out of her uh, out of her room, and I'm not going. To, I'm not getting no phone out of her room. Apparently, that's uh, that's linked to whatever happened like that. Cause she would have been tampering. I tell you what, the police, the girl didn't, didn't uh, get the phone. She let the police get it. They got it. They come to find out that the, the wife and the brother, they were dating. That was not her brother. They had a long relationship where they had been dating for a long time. And apparently it was her time. Uh, she wanted to, the husband was supposed to have been leaving the wife. So she wasn't gonna let him leave. She turned around and um I wanna say her and her brother, not her he's not really her brother. Her uh miss her uh the guy that she was dating apparently uh 
they killed him and he had an insurance policy which they thought it was a hundred thousand uh, he had insurance policy for a million dollars I tell you what when it comes to money and family for some reason that just don't mix together they will take you out in a minute so she's in interrogating room and she's blurred now um, I know he had an insurance policy and his insurance policy lasts because he wasn't paying paying on that insurance policy all along after he was murdered she had already went to the insurance company to find out uh, about the insurance policy to find out about the insurance policy and the insurance company uh, they told the police officer yeah she called she called uh, the day after uh, he was killed, Requ requiring about the uh, insurance policy. They said, okay. So they, they brought him back down to the police station again. And um, they got the guy to confess that he was dating her. And then they spoke with her and talked to her. And she, she insisted that was her brother. So the police officer... <laughs> All the text messages that was on the phone, they showed them to her. She was texting back and forth to that guy who's supposed to be her brother while he was in the house. She was texting back and forth while her husband was there, and she was texting back and forth to him. They were doing back and forth, and um, she was saying how much she loved him and this, that, and the other, and she can't wait for them to really, just them two to be together. And, it's like you taking somebody's life because of what you want to do with somebody else. I, it's almost like I wonder if she thought she was normal. It was impossible. There was a mental issue going on. Something was going on with the, her thought process. Um, at one point, uh, they found out that she was in a depressed stage and um, she had lost her job to where her husband, he was taking care of her. He didn't have no problem with her being at home. So I'm like, oh my God. I, I. That was unbelievable, y'all. Yeah. It really was. It was so unbelievable. I said, you sat here and you didn't took this man's life and apparently you thought you were going to get away with it. So, they end up, after they was confronted the third time by the um, police department, they brought him down. Uh, this young lady and her brother, so-called brother, it was the guy that she was dating on the side, apparently, uh, they thought they was going home. That third time, mm -mm, they was not going home. They brought them down there so that they can arrest them. And they end up arresting these two. They uh, told them, uh, you've been charged with first degree murder. Uh, I mean, lady didn't even care. It's like, she was nuns a lot about it. It was like, wow. Over a million dollar policy. So, if if they had someone to take them, take that man out, they would never know. They charged them with the crime, those two with the crime. Uh, they charged them to him and her with the crime, both of them with the same crime, and uh, both of them got life without parole. So, uh, that don't bring back her husband, you know, but, here he is, here, here they are, left with, excuse me, three kids. Three kids, uh, those kids end up going to the, um, the husband's family. Uh, the sister, she ended up raising them. So, I'm like, you know, I can really get deep off into stories like that for some hours. Because I, I just, it's like, how 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 did they think it was okay for them to take a person's life and then go about their business, their everyday you know 
daily routine without caring. Some has got to be wrong with that person to do something like that. Gotta be. But I just want to share all that information with you guys. I'm about to head up and out. Hey, share my video. Thank you for supporting my channel. I appreciate you so much. I'm up, I'm out. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Y'all take care.